Where does your saxophone sound start? It starts with your breath. So today we're gonna to work on some really cool breathing exercises, which is gonna give you the control with your breathing, which will enable you to generate that really great, big, fat, juicy saxophone sound you've always wanted. Now we're gonna get straight into it today, but just before we do, make sure you check out the video linked there now, because that covers the mechanics of breathing. We do not want you breathing with bad technique. We want a nice full expansion of your abdominal area and your rib cage, but we do not want those shoulders going up, folks. Otherwise, you're gonna be creating tension and stress. You're in big trouble with your sound. So without further ado, let's get straight into the first exercise, which I call the tactical happy breath. So this first exercise is called the tactical happy breath. And by the way, all this stuff is covered in exhaustive detail in my Total Tone Mastery course. I know I've got the phrase like a pro shirt on today, but it's Total Tone Mastery that you wanna go and check out, which has got all these exercises demonstrated and discussed in full detail. I'm just scratching the surface today, but I really wanna give you something to work with, all right? So why is it called the tactical happy breath? Because it's used by the tactical community and MMA fighters and things like that. Sometimes it's called a box breath. And the idea is that you're gonna breathe in, you're gonna hold your breath at the top, you're gonna forcefully exhale, and then you're gonna hold at the bottom. So you've got this kind of four-way box shape. Now, normally when you do a box breath, the four sides of the box, the in, the hold, the out, and the hold are gonna be the same length, but I've adapted it for saxophone. So the, uh, the exhale is gonna be longer than the final hold. Now you can see the exercise right <laughs> there it's really hard to do it backwards <laughs> and you can see that we breathe in for four beats you hold your breath at the top for four beats you forcefully exhale through your teeth like with a sort of sound and then you hold at the end for two beats and you can also see some of the notes which i've made there so you're going to stand nice and tall with good posture you're going to place your right hand on your chest and your left hand on your tummy. Why? Because that's how you hold your saxophone. And it's going to code that, um, that message straight in, which is going to be used when you play. Uh, you're going to like shrug your shoulders. You're going to make sure that you're nice and loosey-goosey relaxed, okay? If you start creating tension in your shoulders, you're done. So you need nice, loose shoulders. And what we're going to do is use a metronome to keep count. So like I mentioned, you do a full inhale through your nose, expanding into your belly and your chest, but keeping those shoulders relaxed for four beats. You're going to pause at the top, but you're not going to hold your breath with tension. So you're not going to go... <laughs> okay, you just breathe in and you relax and you hold it there. Then you breathe out forcefully using the abdominal muscles and your chest muscles to squeeze the air out. Um, sidebar, you do not use your diaphragm to breathe out and drive the air. You use your diaphragm to breathe in. Fun fact. And then at the end, you hold your breath at the bottom. And when I say hold your breath, don't do that kind of thing. You know, you're not going to you're not going to create tension in these holes, on these blue sections. You're going to be really relaxed throughout. Now, the ideal way of doing this exercise, as it's demonstrated in Total Tone Mastery, is you start quite quickly, uh, say 90 BPM on your metronome, and then you gradually slow it down. And if you've got the course, you'll know that that's what happens. The BPM slows down. It's really cool. But that's a bit too complicated for today on YouTube, so I'm just gonna put my metronome on 70 BPM. Now, once again, remember, loosey-goosey, nice and relaxed. Don't let those shoulders ride up. And, full disclosure, if you start feeling faint or lightheaded, dizzy, stop this exercise immediately, okay? <laughs> and if it's more comfortable and you feel like you're gonna fall over, which I really hope you don't get to that point, uh, make sure you sit down, so stay safe. You know, you don't want to injure yourself doing these exercise. Breathing is a very powerful modality that you have to respect. Right, let's get on and I'll demonstrate the tactical happy breath for you. Okay, we're going to start off by breathing in. Three, four. Relaxed hold. Hold. In. Hold. Hold. One more time. In. Hold. Hold. 
Okay, well done. Let's move on to the next exercise now, which is going to build on that. And it's called the box happy breath. So this time we're developing more control of our breathing and we're going to build on the previous exercise. This is called the box happy breath exercise. And it's a similar type setup. You're going to breathe in for a certain number of beats. You're going to hold for a certain number of beats. You're going to exhale for a certain number of beats and then you're going to hold. Now the first in and the, and the next hold and then the next out, they are all going to be the same number of beats each, but the hold is always going to be four beats. Now, many people will be able to do this exercise in the uh, who are advanced breathers, even up to 20 counts for each side of this box. That's in, hold, out and hold. But we don't need to be that extreme. And I've cut down the last hold to uh, make it a little bit easier for saxophone players. So I'm going to put my metronome on at 60 BPM. Now, remember, you can get all these exercises by using the URL that you can see displayed down there or just click the link in the description. Or even better, you can go and get Total Tone Mastery, which has got all the breathing and everything else that you need to create an absolutely awesome saxophone sound. But I'm now going to demonstrate this exercise. Now, remember, the main points are all the same. Lucy goosey you're going to relax your shoulders when you breathe in. You're going to expand that diaphragm down. You're going to fill up your belly. You're going to fill up your chest a little bit as well, but do not expand into the shoulders and make them go up. Very, very important point. Now, remember the old stigma about breathing is that it makes, makes you look like you've got a big fat belly, which is because your lungs are expanding down and all the viscera and guts you've got here are going to be pushed out. That is normal. Do not stress out about what you look like, <laughs> you know. And if anyone should be worried about it, it should be me. So don't worry about it pushing your butt out when you breathe. That is the way you're going to get a really good sax sign. This is where all the power comes from, guys. <laughs> all right. Here's a demonstration of the box happy breath, which is going to be at 60 BPM. So nice and relaxed. And we're going to start with the in breath. Here we go. Three, four. In. Relaxed hold. Hold. In for five. Hold for five. Three, four, five. Hold. Now six. Hold. Three, four, five, six. Hold. Now seven. Hold. Hold. Now eight. Relaxed hold. Three, four. Hold. Now nine. Relaxed hold. Seven, eight, nine. Hold. Now ten. Hold. Six, seven, 
Stay relaxed. <coughs>so very important in that one to maintain the relaxation and to pace yourself when you're breathing in and to pace yourself when you're breathing out now you need to be able to stay relaxed on that long inhale and relaxed on that long exhale and that's what these exercises are doing they're really tuning up and uh, giving you that extra control that you need when you're using your breath to create your saxophone sound. Let's move on to the last exercise now, which is called the big exhale. Okay, now we're on to the final exercise, it's called the big exhale, and this is where it becomes much more realistic to play in the saxophone. We've developed that slow recoil control with the first two exercises, now it's time to put it into practice. So what's gonna happen is you take that nice big breath in over one beat, and then you slowly control your breath going out for an increasingly long amount of time. Now we're gonna start with 20, 30 and then we're going to go for 40 seconds but you can work all the way up to 60 and beyond and the secret is of course to create that bit of resistance in your teeth so all your breath doesn't go because after all we're blowing into a mouthpiece with a reed and there's back pressure so um the teeth you know the hissing through your teeth will uh, recreate that pressure which is just like playing your saxophone so all the setup is exactly the same as the other exercises left hand on top right hand on your belly but this time it's going to be one, two, three, big breath in, and then you're going to hiss that sound out gradually over 20 seconds, 30 seconds, and then I don't think I'll go for 40 seconds for YouTube. It's gonna, everyone's going to log off by then. However, let's start with 20 seconds and see how we get on. So three counts, and then a big exhale on four, and then that slow exhale over 20 seconds. Okay, here we go. One. <laughs> okay, let's now go for 30. This is going to absolutely trash my YouTube algorithm. Everyone is going to log off by now, but here we go. Here is for a count of 30. So three beats, breathe in and four. And when you breathe in and four, don't crunch up your shoulders. You need a nice big amount of air, but don't crunch your shoulders up, okay? So Lucy go see. <laughs> here we go. And one, two. <laughs> okay, so rewind the video and try and do that exact exercise along with me. I'm not going to go for the 40 or the 50 or the 60 because it's just going to be too boring. You get the idea of the exercise. Now remember the main points again, which is when you take that nice big breath in, you're going to fill up. Now remember, once your tummy is kind of uh, compressed, all it takes is you to relax and it fills up, the air just like rushes in. So don't, you know, don't, don't overthink breathing in and definitely do not breathe in to your shoulders. Now, final reminder, you can go and use the URL that you can see there to get the free PDF with these exercises. And remember that there's a link in the description and I put the card up earlier for my full ultimate guide to breathing, which will teach you all the technique and how you should breathe in and what the mechanics are and what the physics of breathing are and all that really cool stuff. All right, that's all we've got time for this week. Really hope you enjoyed these exercises. All you have to do is do each exercise maybe once or twice before your practice session and it's really going to dial in your breathing. But remember to go and check out the uh, Ultimate Guide to Correct Breathing saxophone video as well to dial in your breathing technique. 
you've got the PDF, which you can download using the URL there and the just click the link in the description. Just fill in your email. That's all cool. And there's all my usual cool stuff, which you can get as well. For example, I've got this awesome free masterclass called the Saxophone Success Masterclass, which you can get using the link that you can see there. My, <laughs> my prized possession is my Inner Circle membership. That is where you can get exclusive access to me. I will be there answering your questions on Zoom every month, plus a whole bunch more. And we've got some incredible guests in there. And you can ask those guests questions yourself. And when I say incredible guests, I mean incredible guests. One in particular, which I cannot reveal just yet because it's not confirmed. But as soon as we've got this guest confirmed, you're going to be like, oh my God, I'm joining the inner circle for that session. <laughs> In the meantime, if you feel like you're getting good value from these videos, please do uh, feel free to buy me a coffee to say thanks. You don't have to, but if you want to, <laughs> every little bit of caffeine is very well received. And if you have done in the past, believe me, I really, really appreciate it. You're super kind. Uh, until next week, where I'll be back with more awesome content to help you become a better saxophonist or saxophonist, depending where you live in the world. <laughs> Make sure you practice hard, practice smart, and enjoy your music. Take it easy. You develop the control that you need to create a great saxophone. <laughs> Which will take you there. You just, uh, that's really guffy. <laughs> Before we do, make sure that you check out the video <coughs> Cough Up Chicken. <laughs>